Hi, this is Skaya with Bobby Bullock Medical Aesthetics. Today I am going to be doing the Perfect Derma Peel with the Acne Booster. So this is going to treat my acne, pores, while also promoting collagen and elastin. So being really good for anti-aging. And I want to keep you guys updated on my peel journey, so I will check back after I get my peel. Hi, this is Skaya, and we're going to do the Perfect Derma Peel on her face. She's never had this peel before, but she's had other peels before that were similar. What I really like about this Perfect Derma Peel is not only does it have glutathione in it, which is a, a nice anti-aging uh, property, but it also we're going to add the acne booster. So Skaya still suffers from some adult acne or some late teen acne. And so we're really excited to hit that. And so peels are great for acne of all ages and we can do this peel on uh, teenagers 13 and up and it's, we're really going to get some great results. So I'm excited to add this acne booster to it and to see, to see what happens. So we've already cleansed and prepped her skin, which is why she's already a little bit red and reactive. And we're going to start with the peel. All right, Skaya, you ready? Yep. So I'm going to use quite a bit of pressure and not only am I exfoliating her skin, but I'm, I'm pushing this peel into her dermis. If you just do it too light, it's just going to sit on the surface and it's not going to get that penetration. And this feels a good one. She's going to feel some heat and it's gonna be a little stingy. Everyone handles this a little bit differently. The nice thing about it is once the heat kicks in, it also has a, an anesthetic in it. And so then it should be very comfortable. Sky, how are you feeling so far? Good, it's a little bit tingly, but I can feel the anesthetic kicking in. Perfect. On a scale of one to 10? Mm, probably like a three or a four. Perfect, go ahead and pull your lip down for me. Awesome. So I'm really looking to see what her skin is doing and we're just gonna do a light pass on the neck. So Skaya is enrolled in our beautiful SkinRx program. And so with this program, uh, you, the client receives two of these perfect derma peels. And I really like to peel in the winter time and um, when it's not too hot because you want to really protect the skin from the sun and from the UV. So this guy also gets a little bit of acne on her chest. And so we're going to extend this peel down onto her chest. How are you doing now? Good. And tell me what you're feeling. I'm definitely feeling the anesthetic kicking in, so it feels really comfortable. Great, on a scale of one to 10? Mm, probably a one or a two now. Perfect, so you can see I'm putting the peel on thick and it's I'm waiting for it to absorb into the skin. I'm really looking to see what's going on. Remember, this is a chemical peel, so I'm looking for chemical reaction. So you can see she's getting a little bit of redness, a little erythema, but she's not getting any frosting with this first pass. So that tells me it's a good sign that we can go to another layer of the peel. So this is the second layer. So some of the symptoms of when her skin has had enough is the skin will actually start to turn white and it's called frosting. And what that is, it's the dead and damaged skin and it can happen from a lot of things. It can be sun damage, it can be from acne, it can be from not exfoliating enough. And what that tells me is that the, peel, the skin has had enough of the peel. And you can see the frosting is beginning to appear here on her chin, which is one of the places that she gets acne. So this is really exciting. She's gonna get a great peel. You can see her smiling. And using this booster is really going to add to her success. How are you doing now with the second layer of peel? Good, it's definitely a little bit more tingly, but comfortable. Fantastic. So I'm just waiting for that to dry. I'm really looking to see how her skin is tolerating it. And the only place that I'm seeing frosting is on her chin, which is also coincidentally where she seems to get most of her acne. I'm actually not seeing any frosting on her chest and her neck. I'm only going to apply that one layer because she's youthful, doesn't have a lot of damage on there. And even at Skyer's age of 20, she follows the beautiful Skin RX using great products and microneedling, and she's very cautious about sunscreen. So she's really setting her whole entire life to have beautiful skin that's protected from sun damage, from wrinkles, from fine lines, and just she's going to age beautifully because of this. 
Are you ready for your next layer? Yep. That's one of the things I love about this peel is that it's really for any age. People often think, oh, I'll take care of it when I'm older, but we know an ounce of prevention is worth a mile of good skin. I just made that up, but it's true. It is. So does this third layer feel any different? Mm, feels a little bit more tingly and warm, but still comfortable. Perfect. So I'm looking and this product is starting to kind of sit on our chest instead of absorb in. And the only areas that we're getting some frosting are literally just around her chin. We've got that nice erythema. So I'm going to stop at these three layers. We can keep going if I wasn't seeing any of those results until either we're getting the deep erythema, it was hurting, uncomfortable, hot, and not cooling off, or we simply ran out of peel. So we have a lot of different boosters that we can add to it depending on what your situation is from waxy, thick, aged skin to acne, to hyperpigmentation, or just wanting a, a little fresh start. So stay tuned and watch Sky's Journey. It is day three and I just showered, washed my face and applied the post peel moisturizer. So I am starting to get some peeling on my cheek, a little bit on my chin, and then my forehead is definitely gonna start peeling soon. I will check back tomorrow and keep you guys updated. So currently I am on day six. I got my peel done on Friday and today it's Thursday. For the most part, I think I'm done peeling. I have a little bit in these areas left and then a little bit of sloughing on my nose and a little bit on the forehead. But really day three, four, and five were the most peeling. I have lots of pictures of what the peely, sloughy skin looked like. But now I'm starting to see more even skin tone and texture, no breakouts, and a lot smaller, tighter pores. So I'm really happy so far.